Welcome to the Flash Performance Garage where I got a stack of batteries and a BMW. Quite the combination. My local parts store contacted me and they said they had a customer that needed a battery put in a BMW. They could sell them the battery no problem, but their screen reads directly, do not attempt to install battery in this vehicle. The battery information must be reset in the power management system. Authorized BMW dealership or shop may replace only. So they called me. Now I'm not a BMW dealership or a BMW repair facility, but I'm the guy that has the right tools because you have to reset the battery management system in the BMW when you replace a battery. What's battery management system or BMS? Well, according to Wikipedia, it's an electronic system that manages the rechargeable battery by protecting the battery from operating outside of a safe operating area, monitoring its state, calculating secondary data, reporting that data, controlling its environment, authenticating and balancing it. The computer in this BMW is constantly monitoring the battery in the charging cycles. It will charge it different as the battery decays through time. But the computer has to know what the cold cranking amps are of the battery, the style of battery, and sometimes even the serial number of the battery to be able to manage that system. We're going to go through that process today using some Autel tools. The tool I've chosen to do this procedure is the Autel TS608, their TPMS tool. Now I know what you're saying. You want to do a battery management system reset with a TPMS tool? Well, yeah, because the Autel TS608 not only is a TPMS tool, but also has service functionality built into it. So this gives us the ability to reset the battery maintenance system monitor whenever we replace a battery. Now there's a couple of caveats to that. So the system can be reset with a TS608 if you're replacing it with an equal or like battery. When the system of the BMW charges a battery, it charges it different over time, like we said before. So we have to make sure that we have the same reserve capacity as the battery that we pulled out. So in this instance, we're going to replace the battery with the exact same spec battery that was in it uh, directly from the parts store. So I made sure that out of all the battery selections that I had, I wanted to make sure that I had the same cold cranking amp and the same reserve capacity as the battery that was in it. And I can reset that monitor. Now the monitor reset is, basically starts a timer. As a battery decays over time, you have to force more amperage into that battery to be able to keep it up to its charge cycle. So as a battery decays, the car automatically charges that battery harder throughout its life cycle. So that's why we see a battery that's replaced in a BMW that has not had the battery monitor reset done go out in eight to 10 months because the computer in the car is trying to charge that battery so hard that it actually overcharges it and will shorten its life cycle dramatically. So we're going to go through the process with the TS608. It's a very simple process. I already have the battery installed in the car. I have the dongle plugged into the OBD2 port. So let's get this baby fired up. We want to make sure that we're connected. So we're going to look for the green check mark where it says VCI. We're going to select service. BMS for battery maintenance service. And then we're going to select European and BMW. We're going to do an automatic selection, so it's going to automatically read the VIN out of the car. There it is. We're going to click OK. And that will automatically decode the car's VIN number. This is a 3 Series, a 335. It's an E90 chassis. We're going to select Yes. I've now pulled all the relevant information out of the car. I'm going to click Hot Function. And Register Battery Replacement. I want to register battery replacement, so I'm going to select number two. And I'm going to enter a battery replacement with the same capacity. It asks if this is a newly installed BMW component. I'm going to select no because this is not BMW, this is aftermarket. If you selected yes, it would ask you to register the battery information off of the top of the battery onto the car. We're going to select no.
It says the following replacement was successful. So you can see that right here, the last battery replacement is 202,810 kilometers. That's actually the mileage on this car. So this battery that is in the car has the original battery. So this is the first time it's been replaced. We'll click continue, and then we're back. It's a simple process. And actually, with that process, you can do it on any of the Maxisys tools. On the Maxisys tablets, on the TS608 with TPMS, even the MD808 Pro. All these tools will do this exact same function in the exact same way. It's not that hard to work on BMW. You can do it in your shop without being a specialty BMW shop or a dealer. This is an easy repair that you can do in your shop to make money. I appreciate you watching. Make sure you check out my other videos. Check out the card on the top. If you want to see how to do this exact same battery management replacement, but changing it from a lead acid to an AGM, I'll show you that in another video. Thanks for watching. I'm Chad from Flash Performance. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, like the page, make sure you click the little bell. So anytime I release a video, you see it. We'll catch you next time.